What's up everybody, it's Dr. Scott with The Full Body Fix and we're gonna do some shoe talk today. I get asked a lot about the type of shoe that I recommend for working out and I'm proud to say that uh, the podcast is now sponsored by Strike Movement. It's a shoe I've been loving and wearing for about two years and uh, we're happy to be able to partner up with them. So we're gonna talk about specifically uh, the type of shoe that I'm working out in now and why. So right there we got the Strike Movement Chill Pill Mid. That's what they look like. Come in a couple different colors. I went with the black and the red soles. Uh, the thing I really like about these, we'll come in close, is this integrated neoprene heel uh, sock cup thingy. <laughs> I'm sure they have a technical name for it, but that's what we're calling it. Uh, I haven't worn a uh, high top or mid top shoe in a long, long time since basically playing basketball in high school, uh, but started training in these and absolutely love the security that I feel, but also still the flexibility. So if we look at the uh, outsole, we can see it's actually still nice and flexible. And even the top part, which is the upper, is, is a nice kind of flexible mesh. So got some video to kind of show the ankle flexibility still available even in a squat, uh, hold out the squat. Whatever shoe you end up training in, my big advice is generally to try to get away from a really thick high heel. Uh, obviously it wouldn't make sense to train in high heels. Unfortunately a lot of shoemakers are still making a really thick cushioned heel. Uh, you shouldn't really be weight training or weight lifting in uh, a running shoe, especially a cushioned running shoe. Find something with a stable platform. Uh, like these chill pills from Strike Movement. Um, and also the other thing I want to talk about was a little bit of a wider toe box. These are probably, I'd say, on the mid to slightly bigger than mid or average uh, width toe box. I like a pretty wide toe box. I've been wearing Innovates for a long time uh, because they do have a little bit of a wider toe box and I don't fit in other narrow toe box shoes like Nikes, for example. So in summary, a couple of things to look for in a good weightlifting shoe is a uh, stable platform, but that's also flexible so that our feet can feel the floor a little bit, but that you don't get a lot of torsion twisting uh, as you're doing running, jumping, cutting. Uh, and then the other thing is a small heel to toe drop. So these have a four millimeter uh, heel drop. You don't really want anything more than maybe four to six, I think would be max. So those are my kind of take home tips. So that's it for today. A little uh, shoe talk, Dr. Scott. Until next time, have a great one.